My name's Indira Neville, I'm a Principal Advisor at Services to Schools at the National Library and today I'm going to be talking about fertile questions. Fertile questions are a type of question that were developed in 2005 by Yoram Harpiers and Adam Liefstein. They are very rich and complex and they're great for inquiry. This is the Women's Social and Political Union Medal for Valour. It was awarded to prominent suffragette Frances Parker. A fertile question that relates to this medal is how was the movement to win voting like a battle? If we break this question down into its fertile question components, we can see that first of all it's rich, so it requires understanding what movement to win voting means and what that involved. It requires understanding what a battle is and requires understanding what medals are and why they're given. So all of these things need to be understood, researched, before any answer can be formulated. The question is undermining. The question tells us that not everyone has always been able to vote, which might be a surprise for some learners. Voting is not just an inevitable right for everyone. The question is open. So we need to think about the different ways that suffrage was like a battle, psychological, physical, the idea of conflict in its myriad of forms. Um, also there's the possibility that learners might decide after researching it wasn't like a battle, at least not in New Zealand. The question is practical, so you can research it, especially via online culture and heritage collections, for example the Head Tohu support material, an exhibition, etc. It's charged. It might raise things like whether or not what happened to the suffragettes was fair. Why did the suffragettes feel so passionately? How does the fight for fundamental rights make the learner feel? And finally, it's connected. So it's part of the history of Aotearoa New Zealand. Um, the learners are likely to have family members who were somehow involved in the fight for suffrage. And it's also particularly relevant this year as it's the 125th anniversary of suffrage in New Zealand. Fertile questions are, are by their nature complicated, so they have all of those components that we've just talked about. So they can take a long time to find answers to and to explore. And I think it's really important to understand that the research part of the questions, uh, in my mind anyway, is not about the students going off with their question and looking in books or looking on the internet. Um, that requires some really effective teaching, uh, scaffolding activities, doing things, breaking things down together. Um, so it's research in a, in a very kind of active, um, scaffolded kind of way because the questions are so complicated. You're not going to find the answer to them by Googling. Them. And I think that's a really important point to make. Another important point to make is that if you're a very skillful teacher and you have 15 minutes, you might be able to sit down at the end of the day and just have a chat about a fertile question. Um, but mostly that is probably not going to happen. If you just ask these kinds of questions cold, you'll probably just get a lot of quizzical looks and um, confusion because they're complicated and they need to be scaffolded and students need to have a whole lot of content knowledge before they can really begin to discuss uh, the issues at hand. So don't think that they're a kind of a, a quick fix <laughs> in your classroom. Uh, they, they do require some time and effort but that's amazing, that's what makes them so satisfying and that's what makes you know the inquiry process associated with them so uh, rich and pedagogically sound and amazing for the learners. So with suffrage, um, you could argue that the thing that is important is not women fighting for the right to vote, it's people feeling passionate about a cause and doing something, regardless of what the cause is. And so, you know, a student who started off looking at suffrage but ends up writing to their MP about the amount of plastic that's in their local creek, um, totally, totally valid. Um, fertile questions are complex and challenging, but those are the very things that make them so rich and worthwhile um, in the classroom. Uh, I really hope you give them a go.